Welcome to Bath Mitts Lounge. I know. It's been a while. It's been close to a year. I suck. I'm sorry. I've been busy doing things, and I'd like to humbly apologize on behalf of my suckness. So, I cleared up a few things so I can regularly start doing this stuff. Okay? So I will start doing semi-regularly uh, video episodes. And uh, for those of you that asked me, yes, I'm back. I'm sorry I took off. Thank you for caring. So we, before we get started, um, let me just give some shout outs to some of the people that um, have directly kind of influenced me and helped me or I just enjoy. Uh, starting out with uh, Almost Human 56 on YouTube, Ralph Vieira. Um, Diehard music lover, great guy. Uh, he's just this dude. He's a couple years older than me, an old metal dude. Yeah, man. You know, and he's very opinionated about stuff, but he's very open about it too. So he may come off as a like, yeah, man. Uh, you know, this sucks, but if you like it, that's okay. You can like it. And I came on his show uh, a couple uh, a couple months back, and I was on. Um, we talked about the Kiss album. Um, uh, Unmasked, which is one of my favorites, and it's a very maligned album. And we just had a great time. And he's he's a loving guy, and he's he's actually been getting a lot of interviews with a lot of other people. Martin Popoff out of Toronto has been on his show several times. Uh, I know he interviewed oh the the third or fourth lead singer from Sabbath, Ket, Ket, uh, Martin. Uh, why am I think drawing a blank? Um, the other guy from Tire and 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 those albums later. Um, he, he, he's really, he's really doing great. And, and he's just, he's just a normal dude. Um, and a real sweetheart. Uh, he comes off as a big hard ass, but he isn't, you know, and he, he did an episode lately. He's been, because somebody committed suicide, he's been posting stuff about the suicide prevention hotline and saying wonderful, inspirational stuff to people. And he tries to come off like he's dumb, but he ain't. And he says stuff that you, sometimes I'll go like, Oh, that was a good one, man. I love it. So, uh, Ralph Vieira, almost 56, almost human 56, uh, check him out. He is, he's a gas. Um, and his, uh, his only news that matters is, is a riot. You guys will absolutely enjoy it. So that is there. Number two, true backstage and road stories. Um, this guy, his name is Mark Howard and he's been on the road with a lot of bands and what he's been doing is he's got his garbage bag full he took all of his road passes put it in a garbage bag and he every episode he pulls out a road pass and he puts it at the camera and he he tells about the story uh interesting side note and this is an episode you should check out is he is one of the leonard skinner plane crash survivors he was on that crash and he survived it and um, that episode is is mind blowing. Um, outside of that, his stories are fucking hilarious, and he's just Texan with this deep voice. How you doing, man? Hey, hi, hi, how are you? And he talks like that, and he's got all these. I think he calls me the the dog man. He'll say, Hey, hey, hey dog man, how you doing? And he, he's he's got these wonderful colloquialisms that he'll be like, Yeah, man, I was oh man, life was bad. It was real. I mean, if I had a duck, it would have drowned. Um, and type of stuff that he says. It's just it, it. You know, you just can't help but laugh. And then you know, because he's you know, survived a plane crash, and he's a little bit older, and he's definitely lived a rough road. You know, he gets a little forgetful. You know, he starts talking and be like, squirrel, oh, and uh, it's funny. Like, I'll be like, you were talking about this, and then he just, you know, goes off, and then he'll have another episode where he'll be like, oh, yeah, I mentioned uh, about Crystal Gale's lighting guy. Uh, I kind of forgot, and he'll tell this. He'll have another episode to make up where he left off, but absolutely sweet guy, uh, really uh wild stories um and he's just a down-to-earth type of person and um i i highly recommend true backstage and road stories uh it's it's a, another great youtube channel richard wick home of the future tv um i don't know if he's got a youtube channel or he may but richard wicka is an iconoclast to say the least and a wonderful human being and a good friend um, one of the main people that keeps asking me, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? I miss your stories and I miss your episodes. And Richard, thank you. Richard's been doing this for a thousand years. And Richard doesn't live too far from me. And he's kind of my inspiration in the sense that he 
built his own studio, uh, video studio, and he just has this open forum and everybody comes by and they do, you know, TV shows. He's actually helped film movies. And he was doing this back in the 90s. All right. In the 2000s, when I got with him, he had a series called the five minute video series. And uh, people in the rules were you had a clock there, you had five minutes, say whatever you wanted to. And then because they didn't have YouTube back then, he used to uh, get be part of K, uh, local access television. Um, I've done several episodes with him. Some of them hmm, uh, may not have aged well in this day and age, but such is life. And I've grown and learned since then. But Richard, I would say, is one of the godfathers in my life of having done this stuff that, you know, he was YouTube before YouTube was YouTube. Uh, Home of the Future TV, H-O-T-F-T-V dot net is his website and uh i don't know how well he maintains it but um you know just a a, a wonderful fantastic character and um like i say very inspirational and very loving and richard i'm back for you baby cakes and finally the reason that i even started doing these video series originally when the pandemic struck, a very close friend of mine, Mikey Waters, reached out to me and said, you should do something. You know, you're, you're, you should put a video out there. You really can make, you motivate people, whatever. And I think you would be do a gas. You'd be a gas if you did this. And so I started what was originally the coronavirus isolation diaries, which slowly morphed into Baphomet's Lounge TV. And Big Mikey was just the most beautiful human being on the planet. I knew him a thousand and two years ago uh, when I was doing the music stuff. He was uh, part of the talent booking agents uh, for one of the, my management companies. And just, you know, he was a big guy with a big heart. And he took me to my very first, and at this juncture, only World Federation Wrestling uh, event. We went to Rochester. And as he called it, wrestling, a soap opera for men. And I'll never forget that. And sadly, a couple of months ago, uh, Big Mikey um, fell and he couldn't get up. He, he was as big as he was, just full of love. And they eventually he got up and he made it to the hospital. And unfortunately, that big man's big heart gave up gave out on him and um mikey used to end all of his posts on facebook with uh mikey loves you and a trademark and um that you know he was a, a just i only saw him a couple you know i i only reconnected with him over the last five years but we were always together on uh, facebook and he'd always support my stuff and just a beautiful, loving um, human being. And he'd always, Mikey loves you. And I'm going to end this episode with uh, a reading of one of his posts that I, I tracked. Um, I, they were going to put a podcast and they were asking people to send memories and I read it and apparently they didn't select this. So such is life. Um, I'll include it here with a picture of myself and Big Mikey, um, just to give you an insight into, into how he was. So, um, I'll leave you with this reading and, uh, until next time you guys stay healthy and, um, I'll be back with some more stuff. Check out the people that I, um, that I had mentioned, they're, they're wonderful people, and I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of their YouTube or websites. And uh, remember, Mikey loves you. August 19th, 2019. Address redacted, gets a large cheese pep. She's going through her wallet, only has 20 bucks. It's 20 and change. Woman, I'm a little short. No tip money, I feel bad. 
Me having heard it all before, no worries, miss. There's always next time. She pauses for a second, looking around the street. Woman with pause. You want to see my tits? I didn't miss a beat. Me. Yeah, sure. Sure enough, Pete's in one hand, pulls up her loose-fitting workout-type shirt and flashes me. Quickly, but in full glory. She laughs and goes inside to yell at her kid. Me. Have a nice day. Blackrock, you so crazy. Mikey loves you.